We're talking about news always. New series returns to our screens tomorrow night, ITV at 9.15. Yeah, the voice behind the puppets, John Colshaw, is here with us this morning and has brought with him one of the stars of the episode. Hello. <laughs> it's uh, Chris Evans. He's on a short break from uh, the big TV job that he quit recently. Although um, he's busy, isn't he, on Radio 2? Radio, he does a lot. Oh, I'm sure, yes. He, he's never anything other than busy. No, absolutely. And there's such a great team of writers on the show and they, they write so close to transmission. We're on on Saturday night and they'll be writing through a big part of Saturday too, for following the news and following the stories. We've got Chris here. Yes. You do the voice of Chris, of course. Where do you start with Chris's voice? I think it's it's a lot of, uh, it's the energy. It's the sort of, how cool is that? How are you? How are you? It's very yeah. bouncy. Yes, you is. sort of feel a bit dizzy after uh, a, a sustained burst yes. of doing the voice. And who else have you got in the show? Because obviously, uh, you know, there are new people coming out all the time who are in the news and are relevant. Yes, so it's, uh, uh, OK, Simon Cowell is there. He's a little bit more steady, a little bit more calm. Uh, we have Professor Brian Cox. Uh, uh, Lewis MacLeod is a wonderful Donald Trump. Wow, uh, OK. His hair is a cat. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> In real life. I'd yeah. imagine that the politicians are the ones that just a gift that keeps giving, really. They are, they are and it's been so changeable uh, recently. Some of the famous like Farage, Nigel Farage, still there, a little bit in the background, though. Maybe he's found a new friend in Donald Trump now. We'll wait and see. <laughs> um, <laughs> by contrast, uh, uh, Jeremy Corbyn, he's um, rather calm. And he reminds me of a, a chap who used to drink in a, a pub where I was a glass collector <laughs> when I was 18. And this fellow would always say, uh, there's tuppence still left in that pint. Don't uh, collect the glass too early. I have a mandate to keep it. It's very so uncanny. Good. Very it's so uncanny. Now, one of, the, one of the, the, the voices I'm very excited, and perhaps I'm very excited to see is Judge Rinder, oh, yeah. uh, Rob, uh, who's obviously about to start starring Absolutely, in uh, the yes. Strictly. Uh, do you do Rob? Are you Rob? Yes, he's, he's one of my favourites. He's so sort of ground and d -d -d talking, <laughs> talking. <laughs> d -d 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 <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so. <laughs> <He's> so <laughs> those, those looks that he gives. Uh, the, the, on Newsoids, the uh, lip sync and the eye blinking is CGI, and they've made a wonderful way oh of my goodness. achieving those looks that he gives, John, just piercing it, looks. Now, listen, you were in Spitting Image, weren't you? I mean, yes. obviously, that's that's a great standard, isn't it, that everybody remembers, oh. and you were in, in there. Yes. And Chris, I can't believe that Chris Evans was relevant but yes, all that was. time ago as well. Yes, absolutely, in the sort of the big breakfast era and uh, uh, TFI and uh, all of those. Don't forget your Don't toothbrush. Don't toothbrush, yeah, of course. Yes, uh, the Chris Evans puppet was there. I think that Chris actually got in touch with Spitting Image saying, can I do my own voice? Can I do <laughs> my voice? No. <laughs> and you're like, that's not the point. No, that's exactly, not the exactly. point. And post Olympics, uh, yes. any Olympians making this series? Uh, yes, uh, Mo Farah. Is, uh, I, I love taking on the voice of Mo Farah. Even speaking as, as him, you just feel better about yourself. Yourself. And there's something about his voice. There's a little bit of mischief in there, you know. It's a tone as though you know you think he might enjoy winding people up. You know? <laughs> oh he's very my. lovable. He's a very lovable character. That seems like it's not far from Chris Eubank, though, as well. Is that yeah, I suppose what, what one would do is slow it down and sort of speak in that manner, and then uh, and uh, add a sort of a lisping effect, and then you would you would get Christopher Livingston Eubank. I feel totally transfixed by hearing oh. you. Um, are there any that you found really hard that you're really having to work on this season? Uh, David Cameron was always a little bit tricky because he's a little bit bland, a little bit slippery. Is he still in it? I mean... <laughs> Vaguely. There's Vaguely, one more sketch. Yeah. One There's more sketch, one more sort sketch of, for David Cameron. A swan song, a farewell for him. But, you know, he was just sort of, you know, very, very posh, very sort of speaking in a very tidy PR fashion like that, um, which is, is fine. You can follow the topicality. But there are more interesting characters. Yeah, Theresa May. Is there any Theresa May? Got yes, uh, Deborah Stevenson right. does a wonderful Theresa May. Uh, she's, she's been promoted, of course. She has. She looks very statesmanlike now. Pearls and a blue frock, you know, very... Quite right, too. Right. Yeah. John, it's lovely wait. to see Saturday, 9.15. And lovely to see you as well, Miss Great to see you. Great to see you. Can I have a job? Great to see you. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I was on before Kevin Bridges, so everyone was just sat there waiting for Kevin Bridges. And there was people in the first row literally facing away from me, <laughs> which is the harshest heckle you can have as a stamp. So they, they're, they're a little more disengaged, but it's, it's a lovely festival. It's very middle class. On You'd fit in like a glove. Yes. I would be. I would be. Uh, you people look at me 